Hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath and this is going to be interesting. We are talking about the true cost of 4K. How much does a 4K disc actually cost to manufacture? How much of that cost are we seeing as the customers? We love our, our physical media conversations here, but we have to remember where the market stands right now. DVD is still the king. DVD accounts for about 60% of all disc sales. Blu-ray is catching up. They're at about 30% of all disc sales. And then of course the last 10 to 11% is, uh, is 4K, which is the emerging format and the format that a lot of people are looking towards the future as the future physical media. I do not think that there's a physical media format beyond 4K. I do not think 8K is gonna be a home media disc format or a collectible format. I think 4K is the end of the line for discs. Uh, everything's moving to the cloud, right? But I'm seeing comments when we have these conversations, You know, wh wh when we say, why is there no 4K for this? Why is this TV show not on 4K? Well, I am seeing things, people saying, well, a Blu-ray and a DVD and a 4K, it all costs about the same amount of money to make, right? No, it actually does not. And to prove this, I've been reaching out to my industry contacts. I've talked to indie distributors and I've talked to the studios. Uh, and I'm sworn to secrecy on the actual cost of some of these projects. I've seen the numbers. I can tell you. Well, actually, I can't tell you, but I've seen the numbers. However, the multipliers are really interesting, and that reveals so much about this. Like, you know, this is twice as much as this. Um, so also remember for these numbers that every project is different. Like Lawrence of Arabia is going to cost way more to restore than a noir, you know, a 70 minute noir from 1948. Uh, but let's start with the actual 4K restoration process. So scanning in a 4K movie, not a TV show, a movie. So roughly two hours, right? I've seen on the low end, five figures going into six figures. Okay. So that's a huge range, but that's expensive. And that's for one movie. So when people talk about TV shows, well, there's obviously that's the reason why hundreds of hours of television shows are not being scanned in 4K because it would be so cost prohibitive. Um, and then there's the authoring process itself. Now, this is the process of actually authoring the disc, you know, setting it up to actually go off to the replicator. So a DVD is, uh, you know, not, it's the cheapest, of course, obviously. A DVD is the cheapest to author. Uh, Blu-rays are 1.5 times that. So if a DVD is a dollar, and I'm just pulling this number out of the air for easy math. If a DVD is a dollar, then the Blu-ray is a dollar fifty to author. The, the 4K authoring process is upwards of six and a half times that of a DVD. So that right there is a huge cost just on authoring these things. Then it's got to go to the replicator, okay? So then the, the replicator, similar, um, the Blu-ray is 1.5 times the cost of a DVD to replicate. We're talking about the actual pressing of the disc, you know, factory pressed, glass coating, all that jazz. 1.5 times for the Blu-ray. Uh, three times as expensive for a 4K. So, so there's our numbers right there, right? But then we still haven't accounted for the packaging, the the Blu-ray case itself, or the 4K, 4K case itself, the art wrap. You want reversible art wrap? That's going to add more. You're, you want a two-disc set? You want two 4Ks and a Blu-ray with all the stuff on it? It's just going up, 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 right? We also haven't factored in the creation of new special features, the licensing or creation of subtitles, which are more expensive than you would think. I see people say like, why are these not included? They cost, a, remarkably, they cost a lot of money. Uh, and the, the, uh, the everything that goes into the actual package, the distribution costs of these things. So these people have to make money. Any, any distributor, any manufacturer has to make money. So this, hopefully this information can help make some informed decisions from us as the collector, the fan base. Uh, none of this is cheap. And the idea of wanting the best quality uh, at bargain basement prices is counterintuitive to how it actually works. Again, everything is different. Some, in some cases, the studios already have 4K masters that they're just sitting on. Uh, they made 4K masters a while back and they're just waiting for the opportunity you had to distribute it. That brings some costs down. But when you have to make a new 4K master, when you have to author the thing, you have to replicate the thing, you have to put new special features on there, the cost goes up really quickly. So here's just some hard numbers that we can look at to kind of understand where we're coming from here. Does this impact your purchasing? Does this help you understand that 
Every disc is not created equally. I'd love to continue that conversation in the comments below. And hopefully, as the format continues to grow, those numbers will come down. You know, that's how it works, is the longer formats around, the lower the cost. I should also mention that these numbers do vary depending on the print run. So if you're pressing 500, obviously way more expensive, right? You press 500 versus 1,000, 1,000 is cheaper. 5,000, that's even cheaper per unit, right? You're still paying more overall, but per unit, it brings the cost down. But that's why we see companies being very hesitant, very conservative with the risk in the in this emerging market because nobody wants to end up with a bunch of stuff that they don't want to eat the cost on a lot of this stuff. They need to know that it's going to sell and that we are going to buy it. Uh, as I always say, we vote with our wallets. Every dollar that you spend sends a message and every dollar that you don't spend sends a message. So plan and purchase accordingly. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me for this conversation. I know it's a little numbers heavy. Hopefully the graphics made it a little easier to understand, but I want to know what you think about it uh, and we can continue the conversation in the comments below. Guys, thanks so much. Take care. Until next time, I'll catch you later.